In the last video, we learned about the human reality of things and the physical reality of things. So what happens when you forget to consider one of these while innovating? If you forget to consider the physical reality of things, that is, if you forget to consider the practical and technological limits that you have, then you might keep trying to make something which is very useful to the market, but impossible to make in the current scenario. For example, if in the year 2016, a man wants to make a time machine, he will most probably be right in assuming that its demand will be high. That is, he has considered the human reality of things. But he should also consider that given the science, technology and inventions we have right now, it is currently impossible to make a time machine. On the other hand, if you forget to consider the human reality of things, that is, if you ignore the demand of things, their cost, the pricing strategy, etc., then you are basically like a scientist trying to invent something. We have already told you what an invention stands for. The product you invent may or may not be useful in the marketplace. In most of the cases, if you ignore the human reality of things, you will have wasted your time and effort in building something that nobody wants. There are two competing forces here. The prophetic words of Henry Ford point towards the first force, intuition. Ford once said, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. But Ford realized how a motor car could transform transportation. He was far-sighted enough to see that his product could create a demand for itself. And it did stupendously. Fast forward 100 years. Dean came in a well-known inventor invests $100 million in making Segway PT, a two-wheeled self-balancing scooter costing $5,000. He thinks it will revolutionize transport in the same way that cars had when they had replaced horses. But even though the product turned out well, few people actually bought it. The market that Dean thought he was catering to simply did not exist. This is the second force, the force of demand and supply. What do we learn from these two cases? As an entrepreneur, maintaining financial viability is probably the most crucial cog in the wheel. Even within the confines of human reality of things, you must balance what people think they want with what you think they want, but don't know themselves. Balancing the two forces of intuition and demand and supply is no less than a tightrope walk and comes over time with knowledge and experience. We will take this up in our later videos. Remember, a successful innovation is found in the intersection of physical reality of things and human reality of things. Think about both of these in advance, then find their intersection and make a positive impact on the world. How to do that? Don't worry, we are gradually moving towards that. Stay tuned!